So let's summarize what we've learned about the difference between adding cells in series and adding cells in parallel. We saw that when you add cells in series, that makes the bulb in the circuit shine brighter because the cells push together. And so more of them together to push make the charges move faster. And that's why the bulb shines brighter. Also, if you go and measure the voltage across the battery as a whole, you'll see that the total battery voltage is the sum of the individual voltages. So if you know the individual voltages of the cells, you simply add them up and then you'll get the whole battery's voltage. That's how it works in series. What about parallel? In parallel, it's not like that. It doesn't matter how many cells you add in parallel with one another. The bulb will still shine just as brightly as if there was just one cell. Also, the potential difference across the whole battery is the same. No matter how many cells you add in parallel, the potential difference across the whole battery is still just as much as for one of them alone. And this is because when you add them in parallel, it's like each one gets a bit lazier. And so that has the advantage that they will last longer before they get flat. But you mustn't expect that it's going to make your bulb shine any brighter. You mustn't expect that you're going to get a greater voltage by putting them in parallel. No. If you have identical cells that you are adding to one another in parallel, they all have the same voltage as one another, and the combined battery also has that voltage. 